Seems so strange. I'll meet you for the first time today, and I've wanted to for so long. For almost five years. Slip over the heater. Oh, Pat, for a minute I thought you were serious. Oh, from the looks of the place, I'd say Philip and his mother were coming to dinner. Do you think everything mm. looks all right? It looks wonderful, just wonderful. You're, you're sure now? Well, I would make just one small suggestion. Well, what? Put your shoes on. Oh, Pat, if you hadn't been here, I would have forgotten them for sure. Wouldn't that have been awful? Oh, I think it would have made a nice informal touch. Well, to meet Mrs. Pryor without my shoes on? Oh, I would have just died. You don't need shoes when you're walking on air. It shows, doesn't it? Oh, it glows. Yes, but, but not too much. I mean, not so much that it'll frighten him away. Oh, it hasn't yet. Don't worry about it. On you, it looks wonderful. I'm going to dress now and scoot out the back way. Relax now. I'll punch you right in the nose. Oh, Pat. Hello, darling. Hello, Philip. Philip, your mother. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Helen. Mother couldn't come. Oh. She sent her apologies. Well, of course, but, but she's not ill, is she? Oh, she's never very well, but she did look forward to this evening so much, to meeting you. Oh, I wanted to meet her, too. But, Philip, if, if she's ill, sh shouldn't you be with her? Well, it's all my fault, really. I knew she'd be upset, but I had to tell her. Just the way I have to tell you. Well, tell me what? I got my orders this afternoon. I leave for Korea tonight. Oh, Philip. Oh, Philip. I know, darling, I know. We didn't think it would happen so soon, did we? Oh, oh, I hoped it never would. Well, maybe it's a good thing it's happening fast, then. Because all I really have time for is to tell you that I love you. Oh, and I love you. And all the time I'm gone, I'll be loving you more. Oh, I, I don't think I could love you any more. Well, you could try. <laughs> Oh, I don't have to try. It won't be so bad waiting. As long as we know we're both waiting. Oh, Philip, I, I don't want you to worry. It's, it's just awful worrying about somebody you love. Now, we're not going to worry, either of us. Besides, you won't have time. You'll be too busy writing to me. Oh, of course I will. I know, Philip. I'll, I'll go and see your mother some, some Sunday. I'll, I'll take the afternoon train out, and I'll introduce myself, and, and, and we can get to know each other while you're gone. Well, hey, that'd be great. Do you think she'd, she'd really like it? <sighs> she'd love it. Only trouble is she's going up to Boston to stay with my aunt while I'm gone. Oh. Well, well that'll make you feel better, having somebody to, to look after her. Yeah, it sure will. I'd hate to think of her all alone in that big old house. I know. We won't say any more. Just know that someday soon you'll answer the door and I'll be there. Philip. Helen, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm all right, Pat. I wish I could do something. I've only known him four months. Four months. Maybe it won't be long. The papers say the war can't go on much longer. You know, I... I guess it sounds funny to say it, but... But I, I never thought I could love. Really love, I mean, and, until Philip... 
When you don't have a family of your own to begin with, it's it's like a, a part that's that's left out of you. You grow up knowing people a little and getting to like them and maybe getting some affection, but but love, that's that's always something that happens to somebody else. Until Philip. Until Philip. You know, Pat, it bothers me a little, me, me being older than Philip. Sometimes he, he seems just like a, a little boy. Little boys grow up. I know, and, and I, I guess he needs me. Of course he needs you. And you need to be loved. It's a nice arrangement. It's a nice feeling. But sometimes I'm, I'm just afraid I, I don't deserve him. Now, that's a lot of nonsense. Listen, I like Philip fine, but when you get married, I'm gonna make it a point to be around to remind him that he's the lucky one. Oh, I missed him so. I know you must have, too. If only we'd met that night, I, I could have comforted you while Philip was away. Remember how it was when he came back? Just to see him and touch him and hear his voice. Then you're proud of me. You know I am. I feel like a kid with a good report card. I want my head padded. You mean like this? Just like that. I have a whole box of gold stars waiting for, for when they make you vice president or something. Well, maybe, maybe they'll retire somebody then. Oh, not from the looks of Mr. Pearson. I'll bet he's 75, at least. He was your father's friend, wasn't he? Mm, and mother's. Well, for years, Mr. Pearson wouldn't publish a book unless mother read it first. <sighs> she gets a kick out of my job. All the reading I have to do. I know she's proud of you, too. And of you. I almost forgot I told her you're going to night school. Hmm. To improve myself? <sighs> Silly. Mother knows you weren't able to go to college. She thinks it's wonderful that, that you want to go on with your studies. Well, I'm, I'm glad if she does. It's all your fault, you know. I mean, I didn't mind not being well-read and things like that until you. Darling, I like you just the way you are. Philip, have you told her about us? Well, sure, I've told her all about you. I said about us, Philip. Well, of course. Philip, you're... You're home again, and, and you've got a good job, and if, if we're going to get married soon, we, we ought to tell her. I know, I know. Just a little longer, Helen. A couple more months. She's just getting used to having me around the house again. You understand. She needs me. After all, I'm all she's got. A couple of months. That's all. Hey, I'm going to have to run all the way back. We're very punctual at the Pearson Company. Philip. I couldn't shake the thought from my mind that you and I, the, the ones who loved him most, were, were pulling him apart. I knew I, I had to meet you. So one day, last spring, after work, I, I took the train out from town. I felt we had to talk, to, to get to know each other, for, for Philip's sake. Mrs. Pryor? Mrs. Pryor, I'm Helen Brewster. There's no one home. No one home at all. 